Peach family, it's Brother Hot Tim. Of course, you see Miss Sasha. I'm gonna tell her what you say. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell her what it is. What is it? It's shea butter. Well, it's body butter. It has some shea butter in it. But hey, we uh, we got an incredible show today, y'all. Some of the stuff you're gonna head. learn today is gonna be in, incredible, right? Listen, there is a parasitic invasion going on. And we're going to talk about it today on my show. See you in a minute. Peace. he so late why is he so late well i'm late because uh i took a couple of days off to kind of get some perspective right i'm feeling a lot better i'm probably on the third day of the fast you know after i read that fast information i said let me reset right resetting i'm doing my fast of course my daughters are here so they ain't nobody missed you. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so we about to go and do this toast. I'm about to drink. I'm about to get hydrated. You drinking with me, Miss Sasha? I'm not Miss Sasha. Oh, Miss Jenny, you drinking with me? Yep. Alright, cool. Ah. Alright, let me set this up so that y'all can be on the camera then. Boo, boo, boo. I'm saying on your lap. I was the first one here. So I'm going to sit on his lap. <laughs> yeah. Alright, see, so scoot your chair over, Jenny. Look what? Alright, y'all see the table's full, right? Today we're going to be talking about parasites. Yeah, parasites. Parasites. Can I tell them what it is? No, you can't tell them what it is. I'm going to tell them what it is. Orange. Alright, so y'all drinking with me? Yeah. yeah. Alright, that's This is my no, cup. No, that's not. No, it's not. Those are my cups. Yeah. So we got to do our water. Scoot this right there. Do Leave it alone. <laughs> That's enough for me. No, you need a little bit more water, baby. Because <laughs> after what I found out about parasites, y'all drinking more water. Yeah, I got the most. Drink the water up. Stay hydrated with his family. Stay hydrated. Text somebody. I'm going to tell this you what it's hey, 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 shut your mouth. All right. Text somebody. Tell them stay hydrated. What's up, Miss Aisha? Stay hydrated. Yep, stay hydrated. We uh, we already did the body butter. We got the body butter on, but you know, I'm I'm kind of scared because I read about these parasites and I am paranoid now. What? Mm. When you put the when you put the cup on your mouth, it looks like you're smiling. Oh, uh, okay. Do it again, Daddy. I want to see. I want to see you drink your water. I see it. <coughs> Ooh. 
You got to <coughs> not lose to be being up in my face while I drink water, baby. <coughs> All right, drink your water. What about them? What? <coughs> what about them? I don't understand. Uh, talking to Miss Aisha, I don't understand. Mm -mm -mm. Hi. There you go, girl. There you go. No more water for me. All right, now for you, finish what you got. I need, I need one more thing. You know, your dad is kind of not eating. If you right don't now, stay so. hydrated, you will die. If you do stay hydrated, you won't. Right, you gotta stay super hydrated. Mmm. We'll be talking about that on YouTube. So you want to you want to catch this one on YouTube. I'll be releasing it later on today. But today we talking about the parasitic invasion. I thought I thought West Asians was bad. These parasites, goddamn. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. You don't be. Don't excuse you, me, you, my, you know. You can't cuss on your radio show. Time out. <clears throat> you on my show. I don't cuss on y'all show. I cuss on my show. So, right. boom with your attitude. Yeah. <laughs> boom with your attitude, little girl. You couldn't find what yesterday? The show? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Listen, just go. Go to. Go to um, giamijourney.com. Yeah. All my shows pop up on there a day later. So, the one from yesterday will be popping up at about 12 noon a day. Cheers. And then yes. also, also once you go to Giammy Journey, right, you go on and click on one of the videos, it'll take you straight to YouTube, and you can just subscribe, and you can find all my bring videos. Bring them out. We already did that, We already did that, Sasha. We already did that. As y'all can hear, I'm in the city. Life is good. All right. That's so, put that down, baby. Now, like I said, we trying to do the parent thing. Let me move the water bottle so that y'all can see Gina. All right. Um... So here we go, fam. Oh, someone gave you a like. Yeah. They did who? Miss Taisha, I think. Yeah. Oh, you can't watch the YouTube piece while I'm video, while I'm taping, because I got to go back and do productions and stuff like that. So, I mean, I could do YouTube live, but I don't think I got an audience big enough to really, Cheers. To really do that. So Cheers, don't do it hard on my... My daughter's trying to kill me. No, no, no. All right, here we go. We're about to toast. <coughs> we got the Death Eater. Ah, those food in my face. Well, that's 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 the gas, you know. That's. I don't want nothing. Well, then you will need to get on out of here. I'm Let me give you a little bit. No, not yet. Oh, yeah, you right. Sashi, right. Hold on, y'all. Oh, no. You have to be involved with water? Oh, my God. Sasha is right. What kind of dad is my gotta do, We got to do our, we got to do the green. First. Now, ooh, man. You almost forgot. Just a little bit for you. I want 13 drops. This is, no, all right, give you. And you get 16 drops. You want some more? I want 16 drops. That's all. That's 16 drops. I won't mind that. Hey, you gave her two squirts and I did it. Uh uh, I gave her a small amount, then I gave you some. Stop hating. All right, please. I'm not we a family. Well, how about, what up, what up yours? I'm trying to be. I'm prepared. using this one over here. No, you're not. You're fine. Um, okay. All right, this is chloro oxygen. Me and my kids are taking. Help increase. I got I want to sit on the toilet for a minute. You, you want to sit on the toilet for a minute? Oh, that's good and dark, Gina. I don't think you're going to be in here. I want a little bit water. That's enough, Daddy. No, like, this, this, mine looks like... Go ahead, drink y'all. Drink, drink mine your, looks like drink beer. Drink your chlorophyll. Drink your chlorophyll. You know, this tastes... It tastes like... Mine looks like beer. It looks like beer? Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, okay. It smells like... It smells like black beard. No, it's, no, it smells like Twizzlers. Black Twizzlers. Mm. It smells like black candy. 
Now I see my babies just talk, right? And these, these definitely my kids. All right. These are not so we're gonna drink our we're gonna drink our um chlorophyll. Drink it out, drink it out. Mm-mm. In five minutes. And when you drink this, you're going to the party. Hmm? In five minutes. You're going to the party because of this, and I don't really like it. Me either. Hmm. Why y'all ask for all them drops? Give it here. See, be careful what you ask for because you're liable to get it. All right. So now, I just found out that one of the reasons a I lot of us I don't like vegetables, it. man, is connected to what we're gonna be talking about next, man. This is crazy. I'm sitting up here. I'm doing all this research. We supposed to be camping. You need to talk to Baby Bubble about that. Baby That's Bubble? The, yeah, the shine. Oh. Baby Bubble is the shine's son. Oh, this, no, no. The shine's, what's the name? The shine's, uh, what's the name? Knees or like, uh. I'm on day three, y'all. Day three. All right, so. <clears throat> Stuff go. See, it's just like blood. What you want this or not? Uh, it looks we'll like finish blood. It. You want like blood. you want you want some of the um death eater Sasha, or you done? I'm done. All right, get up. No, I'm, I want some death eater. Death eater. It sounds like a finish your drink. Oh, it looks like green. I'll give you a little bit. All right. Okay. All right, like so we're going to toast the ancestors. Hold on, girl. You know how this go. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. So follow the tradition, baby. Okay. Are you done? Are you going to be able to finish that, Jenna? Give it here. <laughs> Sometimes we got to help our babies, right? It hurts your throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine too. Mm -hmm. When but I start reading the family, y'all need to tune in. Because when I read about these parasites, it's going to blow your mind what these parasites are doing. Bring my Man. Bring my it's going to hurt my throat, throat like that. It feels like my throat's on fire. And yours is going to get... Mine looks a little green. So, green. Just the ancestors. All right. First, we're gonna toast Creator by whatever name you choose. Call that Creator. We call on that ans. We call on that Creator, and we say, I say. From there, we move on to our personal ancestors. We call on our personal ancestors. I know to test. Go ahead, say something. I I want my dad to test. Um. I want you to. I want you to test your dad. Okay, Cecil Ellis. I know. Um, Go ahead. What's the name? What? Okay, come back to me later. Oh, I can't come back to you later. It's just us. All right, so we toast the ancestors. We ask for them to to bless us and walk with us. We ask for them I'm to protect us. Who? I don't know. All right. Her name is I don't remember. Malika. Yeah. Yeah, Mama Malika. All right, we toast Mama Malika. Anybody else? Ah, uh, Miss Robinson. No, Miss Robinson's she's not, not dead. dead. She's not. She hasn't made the transition yet. All right, so look, I, I, I'll handle it. Okay, we call on those creators, those, those ancestors, the blessings. We call on all of our family lines, like Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert, the Texana Davis, and Brown Senior, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Crystal Fanny Gatson. Aunt Lena, um, Uncle Molly, Uncle Chris. Uh, yeah, I um, have a name. Uh, hold on, Mima, Peepa. Okay, all right. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, you already called my father. Anybody else? Uh, my sorry. grandmother, on my, my my father's mother, Miss Margaret Ellis. Um, right, Wash Ellis, Peepa. was my father's father. Peepa. Right, said Peepa. 
You ain't got to keep on repeating them. Now, if you don't know a lot, you just got to be quiet after you get done toasting, right? So we toast the ancestors that we know. Raise your glass. Toast the ancestors that y'all know. And I'll make sure y'all know your front line. Oh, right, you always got some say. All right, all right. What's up? If if you got if you don't have no God, you get you gotta die. No who? If you have no God, you can die. Okay. All right. So now she uh not not now she proselytizing. All right. So here we go. Now from there we are gonna toast this present moment. Today is Kuji Chagalia. Oh, you going to say all of them, but today is Kuji Chagalia, and for those born on this day that's male, today is Kwabana, and if you female, like Miss Gina here, it's Abana, so Gina is Abana, I'm Kwabana, she's Abana, we both was born on today, on Kuji Chagalia Day, so we Wait, toast the day, we toast the bar. You born on, I think you born on Ujima. Ujima? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we toast and we say Ashe. Ashe! And now we toast our children, our children's children unto infinity, and we say Ashe! 100 years! Now, yeah, okay, 100 years, I can dig that. 100 so, years! Right, good job, all right? Last but not least, family, we toast you. We toast any struggles that you may have that you need to ask us to step in front of. We toast Let's and we ask the ancestors to make that intercession, right? So yeah. we toast you and any of the challenges that you have. We say, Ashe. 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 Now we all drink up. And we say, we wish you peace, power, peace, and 100 joy. years. And joy. You forgot 100, 100 years. Mm. Peace, power, and joy. That's right. Jenny, you, you sharp. That's what I'm talking about. Go and drink up. Shouts out to, um, shouts out to Brother Kwame. This tastes like a little kid medicine. <laughs> oh my God. Family. So, Facebook, what I'm about to do, I'm about to get off and I'm about to finish with my YouTube. But listen. Y'all need to get this one as soon as possible because I got some information I want to drop about these parasites. There's a parasitic infestation, and I'm not just talking about West Asians. There's a parasitic infestation that's going on in our communities that we really, really, really need to be checking out, man. This, it, it blew my mind. And I, this is just like, I just happened, I was about to do a, a video on something else, and then I found out about these damn parasites. I'm sorry. sorry. He cussed his Y'all, I mean, y'all act like y'all don't hear me cuss. All right. I found about these parasites. Listen. Y'all need to tune in. So, you too. We about to talk about these parasites. We got 15 minutes to do it. Facebook, we out. What time are you doing lives in the morning? Oh, oh, hey, hey. Now, tomorrow we will be back to the regular time. Tomorrow we'll be back to the work regular time, 4.15 a.m. Because I'll go back to the office. Can I finish talking, please? Yeah. Because I'll be back in the office. So those on Facebook, those on you, those who want to catch me live, we'll be back on, on regular schedule tomorrow at 4.15. Peace, Facebook. All right. Sure you Except for the weekend. Time. Now on the weekend, you got to catch me when you catch me. But sure. I, I, was, I had these days off. All Make right. Sure you watch us on Facebook. Facebook. All right. Mm. Watch us on YouTube. I mean, YouTube. you watch us on Facebook. Okay. So I'll see you in the morning. Uh, oh man. Oh uh, Kwame, uh, dude, I'm gonna have to. You watch us on YouTube. We gonna have to. We gonna have to link up. I have to come to you. I you got to taste. You got to taste. I have another name. This ginseng with the root is a total. It is a totally different taste. You know what I'm saying? And you can feel it. So, uh, yo, we out Facebook. Peace, Facebook. I have a name. Hold on, I have a name. Jaden Chutes. Really? You're not dead, girl. Huh? All right, stop. You don't call on people doing like this. It's just a lie, Sasha. Now I'm going to sit here. You did a horrible job. Hold on. That. All right, fam. Look. I just I was doing some research. Finish up your uh, finish up your ambrosia. I was doing some research, right? And I mean I'm just looking, and I decided to.
to, you know, just watch some videos. So I'm sitting up, sitting down watching the video, and they start talking. Can I fit? Don't don't talk during this session, please. I'm sitting up, and I hear this word parasites. Now, I heard the word parasites before I heard about people having parasites. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was like something that you got um, because the water system was messed up or, you know what I'm saying, or, or the, 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 the living conditions were bad. So I'm listening to a show, and they're talking about parasites. And and let's, I just want to share some stuff with you. All right, you probably heard horror stories about three-foot tapeworms that cause serious problems for some people. But did you know that most parasites are very tiny, and some can only be seen by microscope? Did you know that there's actually a very good chance that you could have a yeast or parasite infestation? The human body is literally crawling with hundreds of strains of yeast and bacteria. The, ba the digestive tract alone holds more than three pounds of bacteria. In the right balance, these bacteria are necessary for proper digestion and nutrient absorption. Probiotics and beneficial bacteria in the gut are a form of bacteria, though they have a tremendous positive impact on our health. When these beneficial bacteria in the digestive tract get out of balance, problems begin. A large number of factors can facilitate the disruption of the balance of bacteria. My fault. I'm reading from Wellness Mama. Uh, the author's name is... It just say Katie. But this is Wellness Mama. Um, the body is also a host to yeast, which is naturally occurring and not specifically it dangerous and proper. Be quiet. In proper amounts. Yeast overgrowth, on the other hand, which is rampant in today's world, can have a tremendous negative impact on overall health and fertility. Many people are unfortunately familiar with vaginal yeast infection. Y'all go somewhere else and play. With vaginal yeast infections. But these infections are often symptomatic of much larger body-wide infestation. How do we get yeast and parasites? Yeast and parasites can enter the body a variety of ways depending on the type of candida albin, albin, canan, albicanus. The most common and difficult to remove type of yeast occurs naturally in the body in small amounts. When a person eats lots of glucose and fructose, remember the body turns all sugars, starches, grains, and even fruit into glucose for digestion and energy. We talked about that, right? It feeds the normal occurring yeast and parasites and allows them to multiply abundantly. Some pharmaceuticals, and especially hormonal birth control and antibiotics, can deplete the digestive tract of the beneficial bacteria needed to keep yeast and parasite in check and lead to overgrowth of infestations. Yeast especially can multiply rapidly in the presence of any high carbon substance like sugars. Yeast are also able to convert um, sugar into alcohol in the body, just as it does in beer and wine fermentation process. This is one reason that people with severe yeast overgrowth experience symptoms like brain fog, lightheadedness, and nausea. Treating yeast, yeast parasites, and other fungi in the body is a three-step process. First, the invaders themselves must be killed, then they and the toxins they created must be flushed from the body and finally the body must be supported in healing and regenerating itself. How to tell if you have yeast or parasites? Listen, listen family. There are many symptom, symptoms directly and indirectly associated with yeast and parasite overgrowth. If you have several of these symptoms, there are really good, there's a really good chance that you have an infestation or overgrowth. Symptom of yeast and parasite overgrowth, lowered immune system and constant illness, rectal itching, especially at night, more than one vaginal yeast infection, sores on the mouth or lips or white spots inside the mouth, constant tiredness, difficulty sleeping and waking up, toe fungus or athlete's foot, bloating and gas, allergies, 
sensitivity to food or chemicals, sensitivity to smell of strong perfumes or cigarette smoke, rashes or itching around the genitals in men and women, recurring bladder infections, food cravings, especially for sweet or starchy foods, intestinal cramps, endomitrosis, um, posiris or eczema, history of antibiotic, antibiotic use, history of steroid, steroid use, including inhaling or asthma medication, history of contraceptive use, brain fog or mental fuzziness, menstrual irregular, irregular, regulatories, menstrual irregular, irregularities, or whatever, including regular periods, heavy bleeding, cramps, PMS, or anovulation, and, and anxiety or depression, floaters or spots in the eyes, muscle or joints aches, constipation or diarrhea, previous or current, current cigarette smoking, Using use of fluoride or consumption of fluoridated water, history of high sugar carbonate um, or carbohydrate consumption. If le left untreated, candida yeast and parasites overgrowth have been linked to a plethora of, uh, of chronic conditions. Yeast in fact, yeast and parasites are often found in people with the following conditions: infertility or permanently fer uh, fertility damage, cancer. Multiple sclerosis, arthritis, osteoporosis, malnutrition, vitamin deficiencies, chronic fatigue, leaky gut syndrome, kidney stones, Crohn's disease, skin conditions including eczema, posiris, insomnia, and sleep disturbances, digestive problems of all kinds, natural remedies for yeast and parasite infestation, dietary adjustments. If you do have yeast or parasites, any sugar at all can feed an infestation and make removal very uncomfortable. If you are embarking on natural treatment for candida, fungi, or parasites, remove all sources of sugar from your diet, including sources like honey and fruits. Some stevia is okay once in a while, but avoid anything that gives the body a sugar source and feeds yeast or parasites. Consider all also avoiding dairy for one or two weeks to give your body a boost. Alright, now I'm going to explain that ambrosia, right? Because it's coming up. Sweat. As your body kills off parasites and yeast, their byproducts must be removed from the body along with toxins that might have a, a bound to, that might have um, bound to. Some of these are best removed through sweat glands. So let your body sweat by exercising, taking cayenne supplements, and getting in hot tubs or saunas. Di 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 earth, diatonomous earth. This is a natural curve substance that has amazing ability to kill parasites, yeast, and parasite eggs. It is naturally high in silica, which is necessary for hair, nail, and skin growth, and has other trace minerals as well. It can also help restore body tissue and improve digestion. If you decide to take this supplementally, start with one teaspoon per day and eight ounces of water and work up to one to two tablespoons a day until yeast symptoms disappear. Read info below on Hexamer's reaction. Also make sure to use food grade dichotomous earth. More on fill here, alright? Apple cider vinegar. Now this is not apple cider vinegar. But that's that ambrosia vinegar, and you know, of course, it got apple cider label on it. But it got that. That's that. Uh, um, that's that. Um, ambrosia vinegar. Another easy and effective remedy for candida and parasites. Apple cider vinegar is is high in vitamin B, and um, very nourishing to the body. It helps the body pH neutralize and improve digestion. It is well known for killing yeast and improving skin conditions. Some people are leery of vinegar as a fermented product when they have a yeast infection. While some fermented products like beer and wine can feed yeast, apple cider vinegar undergoes a much different fermentation process and produces a completely different reaction in the body. It tastes awful, but after taking it for a while, you become more tolerant of the taste and your body will start to crave it. Start with one tablespoon 
up to three times a day, about 30 minutes before each meal. Some people can't handle it before breakfast. If you handle this well, this dosage can be increased to a tablespoon. Probiotics. That ambrosia. Probiotics. Probiotics restore the healthful gut bacteria that is wiped out by yeast or parasites or antibiotic or oral contraceptive use. Probiotics are necessary to restore proper intestinal flora, even after yeast and parasites have been removed. A high-quality probiotic supplement should be included, taken according to um, taken according to product instructions. Do not take probiotics within an hour of apple cider vinegar or diaconomous earth. You might also consider drinks like kombucha and water kefir to help build up probiotic levels. A whole plain full fat yogurt. Not that shit they be selling in the stores. You want the real yogurt, right? Not ice cream. They they they, they disguise some of this some of this uh um, um yogurt like ice cream. It, it tastes like ice cream, right? You need to get you some real yogurt. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is a natural remedy for parasites and fungus. Take half a teaspoon of a high quality cinnamon powder and water up to three times a day. Vitamin C. Being, besides being an excellent antioxidant immune support, vitamin C is helpful in yeast and parasite removal. If you have symptoms of yeast and parasites, take 5,000 milligrams per day, spread out over out in two to three doses. Do not take vitamin C at the same time as calcium and magnesium as they may neutralize each other. High consumption of vitamin C may cause loose bowel movements, especially when yeast and parasites are being removed. This is not necessarily worrisome, but if it bothers you, adjust the dose down until symptoms go away. Y'all ready for this one? Coconut oil. Coconut oil is a natural antifungal and very nourishing to the body. Hopefully you are using it in your cooking by now, but consider taking several tablespoons a day additionally as an antifungal support. This will also help support the hormones and repro reproductive system. To make it easier to take, dissolve a couple of tablespoons. Couple uh Dissolve a couple of tablespoons in a hot tea or a choice of drink. I'll put it in coffee. The first couple of sips will be coconut oil. And then you will just taste the tea. Garlic, olive oil, other herbs known, oregano, thyme, peppermint, rosemary, olive leaf extract, grapefruit, seed extract. If you have a severe case of yeast or parasites, consider using... Um, one of these potent herbs, but do your research. Do your research, family. Listen, listen. We are under siege, not only by the West Asians, but there's other things. Like, for example, D. I want y'all to think about this. This parasitic infestation is the you know the infestation that we're dealing with right now. This is possession, right? I mean, it's, it's nothing but it's nothing but possession. Right? These things get inside of our body and they cause us to have cravings that we didn't have before. We start having soup. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We think that we got a sweet tooth. No, we ain't got a sweet tooth. We got a sweet worm inside of us. Right? You know what I'm saying? These things are causing us to gain weight or causing us to eat like, we, like, like we're insane. Right? And it's like, yo, we got to get control of it. So another thing is, you know, because I, I, I jumped on this from studying or learning a little bit more about fasting. So right now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mix up a quick drink so that we're going to kill some parasites. All right, so let's go ahead and do this little experiment. So, all right, so we already been, if you've been, if you've been out with us, right? If you've been on the journey, right, you know about this coconut oil, right? We're going to take our coconut oil. Take a little bit in the mouth, then we're going to pour a little bit in the glass. Just a little bit, right? Then, 
Because y'all gotta check this out. We're gonna take some of this. We're gonna take some of this uh that ambrosia vinegar. This is the vinegar that's that that's left over, and we're gonna put it in here. Y'all see? Until you get that, until you until we get this vinegar out, y'all gonna use the apple cider vinegar, right? But I got that, I'm using that ambrosia vinegar, right? Alright, that should be enough. Alright. So now, turmeric. Turmeric has a multitude of health benefits, and one of them is the treatment of parasite parasitic infestations. Put some turmeric in there. Now, in the little other thing, we heard about cinnamon. Take a little bit of cinnamon. Last but not least, that cayenne to make everything move faster. Alright. Top it off with a little bit of Death Eater because, check this out, Death Eater, dandelion and burdock root help clean the liver. The liver helps get rid of parasites, right? Because it releases bile and, and the parasites in that that, that unhealthy yeast is not cannot stand that bile that the liver releases. So we're gonna pour a little bit of that in there. Then we're gonna take some water, top it off, then we're gonna try to drink it. I ain't gonna guarantee I'm gonna be able to drink it. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you know what I'm saying? We got to have our daily, our daily healthy drinks because I'm starting to realize that a lot of us are suffering. From parasitic, from 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 uh, from parasites. You just think somebody crazy it ain't that they crazy? They got an infestation going on. So you know, I'm glad I found this out right right when I was on day three. I'm on day three right now, family. I don't know how long I'm gonna go, but I'm about to go get some coconut water right after that. All right. So y'all got those? Y'all got those? So here's to killing those parasites. Good night, parasites. You're going to die today. I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. What you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you won't let go. In my world. I'm singing to myself. Y'all got to sing to yourself sometime, right? Only you make me do for love what I would not do. See, I wouldn't drink this on a regular. My friends wonder what is wrong with me Cause I'm in a daze From this health you see I came back to let you know That it's not that bad And them bugs let go ah. Alright so I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Let's do some further research on these parasites. We're going to revisit this. Because we're going to take, we're going to start taking some regular shots to help get rid of some of these bugs. Death Eater, Vinegar, the um, 
Ambrosia, my nigga, we're going to produce that. Yep, that's right, family. Some of y'all going to be millionaires off of this, this vinegar here because we're going to do the business. Right? We got the cayenne. We got that. We got the turmeric. Right? And the only reason, now this is crazy. The only reason I got all this stuff in the house is because my wife is a good name. So she cooks with a lot of spices, right? I never, I would never have this much cinnamon in the house. I got the turmeric in the house, right? All this stuff she uses in her culture, right? Coconut oil. Now, I talked her into getting the coconut oil. She don't like coconut oil. But this red palm oil, right? You know what I'm saying? A lot of this stuff is in, around me, and reachable to me because this is part of her diet. This is how she eats. And I keep on telling y'all, listen, after we get ourselves together and get our get our bodies together, we need to move to that African heritage diet, right? You know, I know a lot of y'all like, ah, okay, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. But, hey, I'm on an African heritage diet. I'm resetting my body right now. I'm feeling some urges slipping because I got, uh, I, got, I, I got issues too, but I'm, I'm feeling urges slip, which is real good, right? So now, family, I want to thank you for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, most importantly, share, right? Share. Because listen, we got to spread the word about these parasites. Because not only do we got parasites in our community, we got parasites in our body that's sucking up all our resources. You Do you know that almost, they, they said something like a third of the waste that you poop out it's not even yours. It's the parasites in you. It's the unhealthy bacteria and yeast. Because we do realize we got healthy bacteria and yeast. And we've been feeding ours, right? Whether we doing the apple cider, we feed ours. The, the fermented foods. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about, there's other foods we're going to talk about. But we're going to keep it, we're going to keep it moving. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to finish this so that y'all don't think I'm a fraud. All right, y'all. This is Brother Hot Tim. That Ambrosia, we out. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.